latest sa showbiz, yung problema ng anak ni Francis M. Review muna natin yung mga classes of illegitimate children. Meron tayong tinatawag na mincer, illegitimate child. Ang mincer ay isang batang pinanganak out of prostitution. So, yun ang tawag uh, when uh, you engage in sex at nagkaroon ng uh, uh, anak no? doon sa isang uh, prostitute, yun ay isang mincer. Then, we have an adulterous child. Ibig sabihin nun, ang adulterous child is conceived outside marriage. At uh, the reason why nagkaroon ng adulterous child is because of a state of adultery or concubinage na tinatawag. Then, we also have a sacrilegious child. E itong sacrilegious child na ito, eh, yung anak ng pare o anak ng madre or anak ng imam na born out of wedlock, of course. Uh, these are coming from parents or father or mother who made a religious vow to remain chaste in their lives. Then we have a virginal incestuous child. And ang virginal incestuous child ay one coming out of incestuous relationships. Yung cousin to cousin, cousin to uncle, cousin to auntie. E ito yung mga tinatawag na virginal incestuous child. Then of course, yung pinakamahirap na status ng illegitimate child ay eh yung unrecognized natural child. Ito yung unrecognized natural child, halos walang karapatan sa ating batas because hindi siya acknowledged, hindi siya nire-recognize ng either parent or both parents. Why are we discussing this? Kasi lately, isang uh, rapper na namatay ay lumabas ang isang 15-year-old at sinabi niyang siya ay anak ng uh, rapper. At uh, ang pinag-uusapan dito ay ano ang status ng batang ito. If we are to believe yung mga reports that at the time na conceive yung child a single yung rapper Ano ang status ng batang ito? In other words, there is no legal obstacle sa marriage. And if there is no legal obstacle sa marriage, yung child no, is supposed to be legitimate kung pinakasalan ng rapper yung nanay. Unfortunately, in this case, hindi niya pinakasalan. So, ang status niya is illegitimate child. Even if walang legal obstacle, even if single yung tatay at the time of cohabitation. So, may improve yung status ng child kung in-acknowledge. No? Acknowledgement at the back of the birth certificate, magiging acknowledge child yung bata. And uh, of course, under these circumstances, hindi siya na-acknowledge. So, pwede siyang pumunta sa korte to prove filiation. And what document can she use to prove filiation? Pwede niyang gamitin yung mga letters. Pwede niyang gamitin yung text. Pwede niyang gamitin yung uh, bank accounts na nagpapadala ng uh, pera yung father. Do, doon sa mother and etc. Ito yung tinatawag na secondary evidence. So, uh, this is the status of yung child uh, claiming to be the daughter of a rapper who consequently died before the birth of the child.